Hey everybody, Michael Batiste from the Elk Calling Academy. Welcome back to Wapiti Wednesday Q&A. Um, sorry guys, I had some stuff going on, so getting this taken care of a little later than what I wanted to. Um, and actually gonna do something different tonight than what I was originally planning on. So um, I've been asked quite a bit about calling drills and what you can do. And I thought, you know what? I'm in the truck, I'm driving. Let's talk about calling drills that you can do because, you know, a lot of us practice in our truck while we're driving. So th there's really two main drills that I do when I'm, I'm in the truck. First off, it's while sitting in a chair, it's, it's almost like I'm doing a modified crunch, meaning I'm, I'm, I'm tightening my, my abs and, and my rib muscles and I'm kind of squeezing down on that, almost like you're laying on the floor and you're you're doing a crunch a little bit. Um, what what this does is is that actually gets your stomach and used to putting pressure onto your diaphragm. Reason that's important is because sometimes when we're calling, we want to put that little bit extra pressure on that diaphragm reed to force a little bit more air out. Now, one of the other big drills is I'll take a deep breath and then I will trap that air with my diaphragm, hold it in place, and then slowly let it out. So, so that way I can control my air as it expels out. A lot of mistake a lot of new callers make is they try to use just the air in their throat. Uh, to run the diaphragm and they find when they go to bugle they run out of the air a lot of times and they don't have um, enough air to finish the bugle or do the chuckles or this or that so that's a great drill there to just take that deep breath hold it and then you, you know control that air coming out then you can put a diaphragm in your mouth just kind of do that same control with the air but just try to hold a note And just see how long you can hold that note and slowly let that air out. Now, just like in uh, the Beginner's Guide to Elk Calling in Chapter 2 when we talked about some drills, you can do where you start low and go high. And vice versa, start high, come down low. And just keep working those drills, working those drills like that. And of course, then you can start mixing in your just regular cow sounds. But make sure while you're driving and doing these drills that all that air is coming from the diaphragm. All right, guys, so there you go. That is this week's Wapiti Wednesday Q&A. Just a few drills to do while you're in the truck, kind of driving around. Um, you know, always have a few diaphragms in the truck anyways. It's a great place to practice. So, but the key thing is, is when you're sitting here practicing these drills in your truck and you're driving, make the most of them. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in tonight. As always, thank you for your support. Keep calling, keep practicing, but most importantly, have fun. And we'll see you on next week's Wapiti Wednesday Q&A brought to you by Elk Calling Academy. Thanks, guys.